Hi, this is Danny Farmer. Welcome back to our channel. We appreciate you subscribing, and we're kind of new to this, so we need your support. Today, we want to talk about pressure and how to best handle it. One thing I'd like to talk to you about here is, is when we talk about correcting these dogs and, and telling you how to, when to make the corrections, what type of corrections to make, all, all that is based on dogs that understand pressure and, and have a very solid conditioning program. Uh, so that means that, that you gotta be able to read your dog, figure out what level of pressure. It doesn't, when I say pressure, I don't mean that a dog has to be hit with a five or a seven or anything. We try to adjust the, the amount of pressure we put on a dog to the dog. So if you if you get on this dog and he understands the pressure, he can un, he 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 can comprehend that. He functions. If he doesn't understand the pressure, you get you make a big mess. So remember when you're training when we're doing all these things and training the dog you have to read that dog whether or not he's understanding. If he's not understanding, you, you should be able to see that in a dog. And that's where you have to be a dog trainer versus just going out there saying, well, I'll, I, I've seen some people to train, well, if he does this, you do this. Well, that's fine to do those things if it works. If you read that it's not working for a dog and he's not understanding, then you must back out. You can't just keep hacking at that dog. And that's where you got to kind of, Rex had a saying, uh, tongue in cheek. So you can't get angry. You can't get mad at the dog. You got to, you got to look at the dog and, and read what he's understanding. The other saying they had, Rex had, was walk in the dog's shoes. And most people, that's very hard to do. Most people think like people. You got to think like a dog when you're doing this complicated stuff. So just remember, when we're making the correction, we're paying attention to see if the dog understood. If he didn't understand, we change what we're doing. But when we make a correction through our program, we expect the dog to change his behavior. So if that dog is running down the bank, we blow a sit whistle, make a, make a correction. We expect him to, when we cast, for him to go in the water, not to continue running down the bank. But that means he understands. But if you do the same things with a dog that doesn't understand and you start putting a lot of pressure on him, thinking he should know to get in the water, well, he, does, he may not understand what you're trying to tell him. So you're trying to communicate with this dog and you've got to be aware of his reactions. Walk in the dog's shoes, very hard to do. 